February gets into his second week again. We'll have the potential of major implications to it, as you just saw, standings-wise. Sit so back and enjoy it, everybody. We'll get you to the hoop all night long here on ESPN. Zips will get that first possession and winning the opening tip. So again, Jeff, on the defensive end, though, now, as even Todd Kowalczyk laughed about the shoot-around this morning, the head coach of the Toledo Rockets. You know, they average 85 a game, but on the other end of it, defensively, uh, not their strong suit. They give up 75 a game. And Kowalczyk said, yeah, we got to get better on the defensive end. Greg Tribble had that foul line runner that didn't go down. And J.T. Shoemate will throw back that uh, second shot attempt coming to, uh, from the Zips Enrique Freeman. Now, we got a whistle on um, that drive to the hoop as for... Toledo, Cedric Milner went hard to the rim, the 6'7 senior, and the, the Zips personal foul is uh, going to get called. As, uh, who's that called on? Was that Sammy Hunter? I think they got Sammy on that. Jeff, let's take a look at our starting lineups uh, brought to you by the good folks at uh, IBEW. Plenty of balance in that Toledo starting five, Michael. I'm sure that J.T. Shoemate will have some fans here in this building. He played his first two years of college ball just down I-77 south in Canton for the Walsh Cavaliers. Division two was very good there. Transferred to Toledo. has been outstanding for the Rockets. He's in his third year with the Rocket program, and he's averaging 17.7 points a game. Well, Cedric Milner at the free throw line. Milner, as we said, one of these uh, very outstanding offensive players for Todd Kowalczyk. He'll split the pair from the free throw line as uh, Toledo gets uh, on the board first. Glad you're a part of it tonight. It's kind of got that uh, that tournament feel. Although the other night, Jeff and I were both in here. Xavier Castaneda will fire off that deep three. And uh, Milner will board for the Toledo Rockets. So Toledo again a, uh, at 85 points per game, Jeff. They are third in the nation. They are top 10 in the nation in about six different categories. Turning that basketball over uh, for Toledo at the offensive end was Dante Maddox. Now Castaneda starts 0 for 2 as he misfired on that triple try. And the basketball is going to stay with Akron. Not only does Toledo score a lot of points, Michael, as you said, 85 a game. They're first in the MAC in field goal percentage, over 48%. They're first in the MAC in three-point percentage, over 38%. So they are very efficient on offense. Yeah, six different categories. They are in the uh, the top five in the MAC. In we'll continue to uh, keep you abreast of that. Freeman's going to go to work on Shoemate off the spin. The Zips have started uh, 0 for 3 from the floor. Uh, let's check that 0 for 5 now from the floor on the offensive end. 0 for 2 from beyond the arc. Michael, you mentioned we were both here on Friday, win over Kent State, and Enrique Freeman was just outstanding. He had a 19.17 rebound, double-double against the Golden Flashes. He even took and hit a three. Yes, he did. three of the season. <laughs> we were sitting near each other. All of a sudden, I look over, and you're looking at me. Yeah. That uh, not the uh, the offensive profile at the top of Enrique Freeman's game. No, but he had it going on Friday. Yeah. He did. First field goal attempt, actually, of the evening uh, for Toledo. Off the mark is missing on that jumper for the Rockets as Freeman comes up off the miss again. Now Hunter will raise up and triple from that right foul line extended. So banging home the three is Semi Hunter for the Akron Zips. His shot's been looking good, Michael. Four of seven from behind that line over the last three games. Now that double team has uh, got Cedric Milner trapped in the corner. That pass intended for R.J. Shoemate was uh, stripped away. Now the step back three, Trendon Hankerson's off the mark. Akron off to the uh, the slow start. We've seen that before, just one of eight from the floor. Milner to load up a three. He'll miss that off the front iron. Hunter again to unload the triple. Looked good when it left his hand. I think Akron has to be careful, Michael, not to get into Toledo's game. Now, the Rockets like to get up and down the floor, really aggressive offensively. 
I think the Zips really have to play their tempo. They have to do what it is they do. And what they do is really lock in on the defensive end. And, and I think work for the right shot. Nate Johnson, the six foot three inch sophomore, is off John Gross bench, as well as Tavari Johnson. So Nate Johnson, Tavari Johnson, not related. They've become the uh, sixth, seventh men for uh, John Gross. Usually the the first two off his bench. Ray J. Dennis forced to give the basketball up. Dennis can really fill it up. Is it putting a lot of attention to him? Milner went strong. Hankerson defending strong. Freeman, good look inside. Enrique had it rejected one more time as that's the second shot block from JT Shoemate for Toledo. Shoemate's going to be critical defensively in this game, Michael. I don't know if Toledo has a person who really matches up well with Enrique. So the Zips will be looking inside to Enrique quite a bit. That's R.J. Dennis to drain that long-range three as Toledo grabs this early advantage as we're four minutes in. Neither offense has been able to get rolling. Off execution and finishing. That step-back triple curled out on Trendon Hankerson. Ray J. Dennis with strength in the paint. Tavari Johnson slapped it away from him. Turnover, Ray J. Dennis. Castaneda will turn the corner. Johnson to fire the three. John Gross wondering if there's a lid on the hoop at the offensive end. Akron just one for 12, one for seven from deep. It's not that they haven't had good looks and opportunities. Nothing going down right now. Maddox gave it up. Milner to trigger the three and bury that face-up three. Cedric Milner, the 6'7 senior out of Little Rock, Arkansas, the, uh, the transfer into the Toledo program. He's coming off a career-high 21 points, five three-pointers against Ball State on Saturday, Michael. Tavari Johnson way off the mark. Probably not the shot that John Gross was looking for there from the Zips point guard. Toledo by four in the early going. Make Toledo by six. And John Gross needs a timeout. As Toledo was able to find their 6'7 big Jake T. Shoemate for the easy deuce. One of seven from three. It's not like the looks have all been contested. So right now, Akron trying to work their way out of uh, the shooting woes to start it. They have to look for their shot, Michael. Again, I, we saw our Wentz financial group keys to the game. For Akron, it was control that tempo. And I, it seems like they're kind of hurrying things a little bit and trying to keep up offensively with the Rockets. Off the mark on that uh, triple try is Tavari Johnson. So right now it's Tavari Johnson with Greg Tribble. Sammy Hunter's back in the floor. So is Nate Johnson. And Xavier Castaneda. So a couple of starters, a couple from the bench right now. R.J. Dennis gave it up. Oh, Ray J. Dennis on that uh, terrific look. And Cedric Milner rocked the rim. Oh, but what does leave at official Tim Stewart have? Did he hang on the iron a little bit? If he did, it wasn't by much. Well, Tim Stewart. Well, with Todd Kowalczyk, uh, very unhappy, of course, the veteran head coach of the Toledo Rockets. And they gave Raheem Moss that technical foul. Conversation continues between uh, lead official Tim Stewart and Todd Kowalczyk as Xavier Castaneda connects from the free throw line. Todd's face has a lot of color in it right now, Michael, and it's not because he has a tan. No, he wasn't happy. He's not pleased. No, not happy at all. Castaneda will connect twice from the free throw line. So the Zips leading point producer. Top points per game, average in the Mid-American Conference. Xavier Castaneda, who's had a 
sensational year. Toledo by six as we're six minutes and some change in. So it's the Toledo Rockets who are off to the uh, very strong start on the road. This series of late has been home court dominant. Hunter with glass. That's a terrific drive, draw, and dish from the Zips. Greg Tribble for the Hunter Deuce. We see Sammy shoot a lot of outside shots, Michael, and that's nice. He's got a great rotation on his shot, and he looks pretty good out there from behind that three-point line. But he's a big guy. He's a strong guy. I love to see him down inside as well. Ball rotation finds Raheem Moss for Toledo. Didn't get the three, but... Boy, the Akron Zips uh, just completely lost E.J. Farmer. Farmer who's checked in, the sophomore guard out of Cleveland. Young man that uh, a lot of you might remember from his Cleveland high school days. Well, Farmer on the floor and delivery, and that's uh, going to be a foul that is going to be called on the Toledo Rockets' A.J. Edu. Six foot ten, is he do, young man from uh, the country of England? As John Gross is uh, going to go back to getting uh, a couple of his starters back in. Enrique Freeman, Trendon Hankerson, and Garvin Clark will make his first appearance of the night. Clark, of course, is the uh, six foot sophomore out of Cleveland Heights High who began the year as uh, the starter at point guard, Jeff. Seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Castaneda being hounded by E.J. Farmer. Now, Farmer's six foot four, legit, with a lot of length. He do came out to help. Freeman couldn't deliver with the right hand. Hankerson to trigger the three. Offensive board again. Toledo's going to give up their third opportunity at the offensive end, and Trendon Hankerson will drain that much-needed beyond-the-line triple for John Gross's squad. It seems like most every game, Michael, who's that other zip who's going to step up? Hankerson could be the guy. He's had 10 or more in two of the last three games, something the Zips really need, I think, to compliment Xavier and Enrique. Yeah, Trenton Hankerson was really getting into uh, R.J. Dennis. So you see both coaches for these two prolific scores. Toledo hedging, doubling a lot when they can on uh, the Zips. Xavier Castaneda and Akron doing the same when Ray J. Dennis has the basketball for the Toledo Rockets. Farmer's going to load up that left-handed triple. Going up to get that offensive board. It led to a Ray J. Dennis three. The young man from England, he do have that offensive rebound. There's a shot rejection from the, uh, the Zips. Greg Tribble. Clark gave it up. Tribble in the paint. He got shut off again by the six foot ten AJ Edu. Man in the middle now, off the bench of Todd Kowalczyk in Toledo. Shot clock at five. Castaneda way off the mark. Well, the Akron Zips is two of ten from long range. That left-handed baseline jumper didn't go down for Farmer, but that putback's going to go down from 6'7", J.T. Shoemate, the young man from Newark here in the Buckeye State. Toledo's got that lead at 5 again. If you just look at the shooting percentages in this game, Michael, Akron 3 of 19, you'd think they'd be down by 10. And it's pretty fortunate for the Zips. It's just a five-point game right now. Castaneda, that long-range bomb, and he'll drill that deep triple. What's so much great, great triple, Jeff, as we've seen the last, I don't know, half a dozen games, off his penetration in the paint, and then defense collapses. His kickouts have been impeccable to perimeter shooters for the Akron Zips. That's a strong drive to the hole from Ray J. Dennis, the six foot four, the sharp shooting junior guard, averaging 19 a game coming into this one tonight. Played a couple of years at Boise State before he transferred to Toledo last season. And Michael, his scoring way up from 12 7 to 19 points a game this year. He do, giving Freeman a lot of trouble. Enrique didn't get that to fall. 
Castaneda wheeling in the paint and went glass. Oh, Castaneda going into his toolbox there, Jeff Phelps, as he uh, saw a little bit of an opening and went high off the window. And did a great job using his body, Michael, just to keep the defender away from his shot. Really good opportunity there by Xavier. Look at that pass from Ray J. Dennis as he fired that uh, that strong look inside for E.J. Farmer to get the quick deuce. The Rockets don't mess around on offense, do they, Michael? Well, they move, they cut, you see something, you pass it, you score. Well, they're a team that easily could put up 90-plus on you. They are not shy at the offensive end. Garvin Clark will splash that long-range three in front of the AK Rowdies over here on this Rhodes Arena sideline. Garvin hitting just 12.5% of his threes, Michael, so there's a nice bonus for the Akron Zips. It really is. Jeff, and you say that Akron started out, as we were just talking about, 6 of 23, or 26% from the floor, but down just one? You'd say how? Yep, and thank you. Yeah, indeed. Hankerson with a rip away. Trendon Hankerson had it... Uh, Left away from him on his way up to the rim by uh, Toledo's uh, Ray J. Dennis. All right. 11 minutes of some change flying by. And when you're shooting as poorly as Akron has shot the ball so far, 26%, and Toledo at 53, and it's a one-point basketball game, you would say that's good fortune right now for the Zips. Well, yeah, Toledo started with just one of four from the floor, mm -hmm. but they have hit seven of their last 11 as shooting it well. That's a clean look again from beyond the arc, but Trendon Hankerson had that triple try. Bang out on him. His shot looks really good, Michael. It's just not dropping right now. Good form, good rotation, great arc on the ball. Just not dropping right now. He has to keep shooting that. Well, the sophomore Raheem Moss running this Toledo offense now for Todd Kowalczyk. Shoemate gave it up. Milner. Akron wanted a push off on Milner. His short J curled out on him. Well, Trendon Hankerson right now in that, uh, that Zips backcourt with Garvin Clark, Nate Johnson. Amani Lyles is getting uh, some run here right now. He's just come off the bench. Speaking of, off that uh, deep Zips miss three, Lyles is going to get hit for the push. All right, we're inside the eight-minute mark. Let's uh, get this timeout to lose to, to win at a prominent level. That gentleman has done the very same, as we were talking about uh, with him this morning, Todd Kowalczyk. And, um, you know, Todd Kowalczyk uh, raving about his uh, his longtime Mid-American Conference coaching peer and opponent tonight, John Gross. And uh, I told <laughs> Coach Kowalczyk, yeah, I, I, I know. I see it all the time and have seen it for the last uh, six years under John Gross. Well, the top two programs in the Mid-American Conference since 2013 in total wins, Michael. Yeah. Toledo, 210 in the first spot, and Akron, 206 in the second spot. Yeah, that's, uh, so that's going back nine years. What yep. did you say? Since 210? 2010? 210 to 206. Yeah, well, it's so, uh, yeah. Uh, that's Number a testament to what they both built. Yep. And speaking of John Gross, right now, I mean, he, he, he's played a lot already tonight here in the first half. Kobe Mitchell on the floor getting some run. So right now it's Enrique Freeman, Xavier Castaneda, Trendon Hankerson, the three starters. Sammy Hunter as well. So four starters on the floor. And Kobe Mitchell. So Mitchell earning some playing time here early. Michael, I think this tempo has come back to what Akron would rather play tonight. And that's a good thing for the Zips. Well, there's no doubt about that. Akron wants to grind it out against a squad like Toledo. Now, if Cedric Milner does that, though, being able to spray home those perimeter jumpers, something that uh, Toledo loves, going to the hole and finishing strong. Xavier Castaneda, he got that step and then went to the rim to finish it. Everybody gets, kind of falls in love with Xavier's shot, Michael. Except Xavier, I think. He gets to the basket really, really well. And so if anybody comes out on him a little too much, boy, he has that step. He can get by him and go to the basket. 
Andre Lorenzen has come on the floor now for the Toledo Rockets. Is having problems on the baseline for the Rockets with J.T. Shoemate. Lorenzen is uh, a six foot, and then just as I say that, he he gets uh, he gets subbed out. So Lorenzen, six eight player from Sweden, got a little bit of time. To lead about one and with the basketball as we approach the six minute mark. Glad you're along. Shot clock at one. Ray J. Dennis couldn't connect on that step back jumper. Akron trying to reclaim the lead. This is Enrique Freeman, right block. Big size advantage against Raheem Moss. Hankerson will trigger the three. Missed everything. Right now, Toledo's got to do it other ways because shots are not falling. Off the Moss miss. Milner on the offensive glass. Going to get to the free throw line. And Todd Kowalczyk told us this morning, I, I mentioned I really like the way Cedric Milner has, uh, you know, adapted to his system, meaning the Toledo system. He said, yeah, he's he not great at anything, but he's really good at everything. <laughs> In other words, all-around player. Yes, Michael. sir. Yep. Specialists are great. I think most most coaches would rather have an all-around player and do a lot of oh, things. Oh, yeah. You know, you hear coaches talk ask a lot about guys who are, uh, as you see Milner going to work on the glass there, but guys that are, you know, maybe more of a, a one-trick pony. Well, you know, as a coach, you got to pick and choose your spots yep. for that type of player. You can do it all. You put him on the floor and you let him play. Milner will try to split the pair. He'll do that. So Cedric Milner has got nine tonight. They go along with four boards here in the first half to, to lead the Rockets. Comes in averaging 15 points and six rebounds per game. One of the four Toledo Rockets who average double digits in points tonight. Now you're going to have that when you have a squad that as a team puts up 85 per each night. Freeman offensive foul. Enrique Freeman having a tough time uh, getting started tonight. His second personal foul. Freeman without any points as of yet. Four boards, but now with a couple of fouls, and Garvin Clark is going to check in. So, with Freeman coming out, Sammy Hunter on the is the biggest that John Gross has on the floor right now. Enrique had foul trouble a few games ago. Michael fouled out of two out of three games for Akron. They need him on the floor. He's out now. Pay attention to the score. It's a two-point game when he goes out. Ray J. Dennis off the bounce. That basketball hit off his, uh, his left ankle and out of bounds. Turnover Toledo for the Rockets. And, Jeff, this is a team. Now, they, they already, you know, they average what? Right about 10 turnovers per night. One of the very best to take care of the basketball. That's their fifth here in the first half with still five minutes left. Pretty impressive, Michael, a team that gets up and down the floor as much as Toledo, as many points as they score, the way they control the basketball. Again, that hedge out turns into a, uh, a double team with a lot of help on Xavier Castaneda. Well, Zip's got to come into something. Shot clock at four. Going to the hole and getting rejected for uh, for the accurate Zips was Garvin Clark. Basketball kicked around, and Toledo has turned it over on two straight possessions now. And they're sixth of the night. Again, on a year, they average just 10 per game. And we've got a reach-in foul that looks like it's going to go on uh, Ray J. Dennis. That's a first on Dennis. And checking in uh, for the Toledo Rockets is uh, Dante Maddox Jr. Maddox Jr. wears uh, number 21. As there's Ray J. Dennis who uh, picked up his second personal foul. Maddox is a transfer from Cal State Fullerton. And he's one of the guys averaging in double figures, Michael. 10.7 a game. Well, John Gross just throwing his hands up in the air and kind of looked out and said, what are we doing? 
on the offensive end as uh, that pass just flew into the front row. As you see, J.T. Shoemate, the 6'7 senior for Toledo, who averages one of those double-figure point per game. In fact, second on the squad behind Ray J. Dennis. Shoemate averages almost 18 a game. Now Farmer looked down at Shoemate in the paint, had nothing there. Shot clock will come to five. Maddox, that's a deep, deep triple, and he'll fill it up. Dante Maddox, the sophomore, he's one of those uh, double-figure point producers. Averages 10 a game. Tough thing for an opposing defense, Michael. They have a lot of guys who shoot well from behind the three-point line. Most teams don't. But Maddox at 42%. Milner leads the team at 47%. Shoemate at 42%. You've got to pick your poison with those guys. Shoemate gave a do an opportunity at the rim, and that was after of course, Xavier Castaneda had a strong drive to the bucket for the Akron hoop. All right, we'll get this time out. This is our inside four. for the uh, Toledo Rockets. They look to uh, add to well, this is three-point lead as uh, at the stripe once again. The, uh, uh, the front court big from England, A.J. Adu. He hit them both. Uh, Toledo, very good, as we said, overall shooting team, free throw shooting team. Watch if they come in here tonight hitting 48% on their field goal opportunities and a very solid 38% from three. And they've got a five-point advantage right now. Akron's got to within one on three different occasions here of late. And Toledo's maintained the lead. Johnson to the hole. That's a strong take and finish going glass for the, uh, the Zips. 5'11", freshman out of Chicago, Lions High, Tavari Johnson. Shifted back to a bench roll for the Zips, Michael, and gives a little boost coming off that bench energy-wise in the backcourt. Shoemake gave it up. Excellent ball rotation, Toledo, and it leads to Ray J. Dennis depositing that triple. The ball movement was so good, Jeff Verrilli, the... The Acra defense wasn't able to uh, get anybody near Dennis as he authored that three. Dennis comes in pretty hot, Michael. 17 or more. 17 or more in six straight games. The Toledo just gave up, and Armani Lyles drive to the bucket. Todd Kowalczyk looking at his defense and like, what? As uh, Lyles just came through the paint and got right to the rim. Basketball slapped away by Xavier Castaneda, but Toledo got it back. Milner gave it up. Milner to unload the triple and fill up that three. Well, Cedric Milner has had a terrific first half. He's now got 12 points to go along with four boards. You see, Jeff, this is what Toledo can do to you when they shoot the basketball as they're capable of. They've opened up a seven-point advantage. Johnson will unload. Back rimmed it. An 11-6 Toledo run. Michael since Enrique Freeman left the game with that second personal foul. Milner is on fire. He connects on that short J. He's got 14 in the opening half. He averages 15 per game. The lead is at 9. Largest lead of the night for Todd Kowalczyk at his Toledo Rockets. Playing extremely well on the road. Now they forced the acrid turnover. Shoemate to the cup. He'll finger roll at home. And John Gross said, I can't wait for 63 more seconds to get to the half. As Toledo is on a big time run off at, uh, at the field house in downtown Cleveland. But look at the shooting here so far. 14 to 25 for the Toledo Rockets in this first half. That's 56% from the floor. Castaneda thought about offering the three. Oh, that's a tough, tough jumper that didn't go down. 
Now Toledo's defense was forcing so many tough looks for the Akron Zips. Akron's going to have to find a way to get stops, Jeff Phelps. Off the mark, Raheem Moss, and uh, that is going to be a Toledo foul. That looks like it's going on JT Shoemate. Yeah. So they got Shoemate. That's the first on on the Shoemate, just the fourth on the Toledo Rockets. So uh, shot clock is off here. I wouldn't be surprised that during this 10-2 you know, run, John Gross looking for a final shot, maybe to grab a little bit of momentum before the halftime begins. You don't want to see that 37 turn to a 39 here before half. Tavari Johnson using that Sammy Hunter ball screen. Hankerson turned the corner, got to the hole. That's a strong finish with the left hand. With two seconds left, Ray J. Dennis drew some glass, but that's it. All right, 20 minutes of basketball in the books. The Toledo Rockets finishing that first half on a 10-4 run. This very strong Toledo Rocket squad, Xavier Castaneda, and uh, the the Akron defense also has to find a way to slow down Cedric Milner, who went for 14 points. Now he's a very fine offensive player. Don't get me wrong; he averages 15 a game, but got 14 in the opening half. All right, so let's begin the second half. The uh, the road standing Toledo Rockets with the basketball. We'll start with uh, Dante Maddox in that backcourt. Milner threw it over the rim. Well, got to the rim without much resistance. Didn't finish. So Akron with this opening possession. Zip shot just 32% in that opening half. Deep three. Trendon Hankerson will drain that deep triple. Shot it with confidence. Could that be a forerunner of how this second half will operate for the Zips on the offensive end? Somebody has to step up, Michael. And we've seen it game after game after game. Enrique and Xavier can only put in so many points. If somebody else steps up, this is a different situation tonight. You see, Hankerson had uh, forced Miltner into bobbling the basketball, but then uh, the whistle came, and Hankerson, check it out, got whistled for a reach-in foul. Maybe on the second reach in there, Michael? Not when he tipped the ball away? Well, and in live that uh, you didn't see was uh, that quick inbound pass to Milner at the rim, and he got the the quick deuce, the easy deuce, without much resistance. So Milner will answer the Hankerson who Tribble off that bounce. Well, is anybody better than Greg Tribble off that big bounce off uh, that handle in the paint, finishing off glass? Opposing coaches love Greg Tribble. Well, they certainly do. Firing the three is Shoemate. He's off the mark. J.T. Shoemate shoots the three and the basketball so very well. Castaneda didn't finish. Offensive board and stick back for Enrique Freeman. It's Akron who comes out on the run to begin this second half. They're back to within four. I'd say Enrique has to be careful. Michael playing with the two fouls. But that doesn't mean he can't still be aggressive. And he was there. did a nice job with the rebound and the putback. That skip pass was able to find Raheem Moss. Shoemate off the spin. Went glass. Going to get to the free throw line. It's going to be a Greg triple foul as he was uh, giving up size, of course, for the six foot seven J.T. Shoemate. Shoemate who averages almost 18 points a game. Second on this this offensively productive and high-scoring Toledo Rocket squad. And like so many of his teammates, Michael, he can shoot it. 55% from the field, 42 on threes. And here at the line, a 91% free throw shooter. Well, something that we've known about uh, Todd Kowalczyk for quite some time. I always laugh about it with Todd. Man, if you can shoot the basketball when Todd Kowalczyk is recruiting you, you got a real good chance to be a Toledo Rocket if that's where you want to play. That's that's what Todd Kowalczyk, his offensive philosophy is all about. I I want guys who shoot the basketball. He's got a lot of them. Michael, I think you can take a guy who's an okay shooter and turn him into a pretty good shooter. Like Like that? that? 
Hendon Hickerson burying that face-up three. Coming off that ball screen, that's two that Hendon Hickerson has connected on as uh, Ackward stays in touch. Toledo's lead back to three. But I think Trendon was a good shooter when he got here, Michael. He just needs to continue to put up that basketball. I said early on in the game, shot looks good. He has to keep firing it. He has, and it's paying off right now. Shoemate looking to take Freeman. Shoemate wheeling and dealing. Didn't get it to fall. But an offensive board for Dante Maddox. Maddox will quick trigger that and bury the three from deep off that right side of the floor. Lead back up to six. Castaneda to answer. Got his own offensive board. The Toledo lead is six. Castaneda wheeling and dealing. Great look to Freeman. And Rod coming. That's strong, folks. Enrique Freeman challenged J.T. Shoemate at the summit. Finished through him. Took the Shoemate hit. We'll go to the line looking for the three-point opportunity. And, Michael, this is exactly what we talked about, being aggressive. You don't have to. Though you have to be careful with the two fouls, I think. Enrique's game is all about being aggressive. He can't take that away and be effective. He was smart and aggressive on that when he's at the line to pay it off. Oh, way too strong on that free throw attempt. But Freeman's got a couple of buckets in this first segment of the second half. The Toledo lead at four as the Rockets come to the offensive end. Toledo starting the night a game behind the Akron Zips. Eight and two in back play to Akron's nine and one. Well, Ray J. Dennis got a lot in his toolbox, doesn't he? Off that spin as he got down to that low block and delivered. Any coincidence, last two times down the floor, the man who shot the basketball was being guarded by Enrique. Michael, I think they're trying to get number three on Enrique Freeman. And off the hands of Freeman, Shoemate fronted him there. And that trending Hankerson pass, Freeman's telling Hankerson, go up top to me. Give it to me over the top if he's going to front me, huh? That's why you're 6'8", Michael. Well, Nate Johnson will check in now off John Gross's bench. Nate Johnson, the 6'3 sophomore. Out of Liberty Township here in the Buckeye State, Lakota East High School. Four minutes and some change into the second half. Glad you're along tonight. Michael Ruggai, Jeff Phelps. On ESPN, Shoemate had it slapped away. All right, we're inside the 16-minute plateau. We'll take our first time out. The second half, good one going on. That's why you got to stay. Two of the best. And that Akron run. Akron had it back to a three. And then Toledo has gotten their offense back in gear after a couple of Akron zip stops. Michael Regai, Jeff Phelps, hope you're enjoying tonight. We thought this would uh, yeah, certainly have the potential of going down to the uh, late stages before it was decided. Now Toledo going down in that left block. That should be a shot clock violation. Didn't look like that That jump hook from A.J. Adu, the six foot ten big man, had got started. And that's going to be now a pressuring the basketball foul that... He's going to go on the Toledo's E.J. Farmer, the 6'4 sophomore. Zips coming out here in the second half, Michael, shooting the basketball like they really didn't in the first half of this game. Five of seven for the Zips. Problem for them, three of six for Toledo. Yeah. The Rockets have not been cold. Xavier Castaneda in the backcourt with Greg Tribble. This is Freeman now, about 12 feet away from the bucket. Enrique Freeman gave it up. Johnson with the runner. Didn't go down. Had a real good look. Got inside that free throw line from about nine feet away, but couldn't finish the floater. Ray J. Dennis with that double clutch that didn't go. And Enrique Freeman's got another Akron board. One and done for Toledo off the Ray J. Dennis miss. Castaneda is going to load up the three that came up front rim. And now Freeman is going to get whistled for his third personal foul. And that's the kind, if you're John Gross, Jeff, you don't like Enrique to get. And you know what? About 27 feet away from the rim and on a reach in. 
John Gross told me fouls for Enrique to come above the shoulder. Michael, we're okay with those because that's his game. He, they don't want him fouling below the shoulder. That's exactly what we just saw. Reached in. That's three. He goes to the bench. It's a six-point game. That backdoor look found a flying uh, E.J. Farmer who got that up and down off the window, and the lead goes back to eight again. It was nine at halftime. Castaneda in the paint, going to get to the free throw line. As Xavier Castaneda off that strong drive took it right at E.J. Adu, the 6'10 big of Toledo. It's a third team foul. On Toledo here in the uh, early stages of the second half. So Xavier Castaneda at the free throw stripe. What a year he's put together. Came into this one as the the top points per game producer in the Mid-American Conference. And Jeff, he he continues to... uh, does really play outstanding. And it's not just, as we said, in the offensive end. No. Xavier has really increased his all-around game as well. But, boy, that offensive end is special. Last five games averaging 27 points a game, 32 points in three of those. Michael, we might need one of those tonight if you're an Akron Zip fan, if you want to hang with Toledo offensively. It's kind of starting to look that way. Now, granted, we're just six minutes into the second half. Farmer thought about it. Dennis will and drain that face-up three. And the lead is back to nine again. And so in the first six minutes, Akron got their nine-point deficit down to three, but now Toledo has kicked it back up to nine again. Garvin Clark on the floor now. Sammy Hunter on that left block, call it from the basketball. Hankerson's going to fire a three. Got it to fall. There's that score the Zips need, Michael. Yeah. 14 for Trendon Hankerson. The shot has looked good all night. He's not been shy. And boy, do the Zips need that tonight. Ray J. Dennis on the step through and had to give it up. Got a whistle on Garvin Clark. As coming through the paint and then elevating was E.J. Farmer, the sophomore guard out of Cleveland for the Toledo Rockets. Fourteen foul on Akron. And it will be E.J. Farmer. Shooting a pair. Wholesale changes, most squads. Starters, Enrique Freeman, Greg Tribble. Back for head coach John Gross. Also checking in is Tavari Johnson, the 5'11 freshman. Farmer will connect twice from the free throw line. The Toledo lead is eight. Toledo has held this advantage pretty much the entire route tonight. Akron led by two in and the first three to half. One. Yeah, but it was right. It was only a couple minutes yeah. in. Castaneda had that deep triple rattle around and go down for him. That soft, pure Xavier Castaneda touch gets Akron back to within five. Let's see if Toledo goes at Enrique Freeman again, Michael. He's back with the three personal fouls. Well, the the whistles are starting to pile up uh, on both defenses now. As Greg Tribble is going to get hit with that as he got whistled for a blocking foul, trying to deny Ray J. Dennis. That's Tribble here. Trying to go straight up, wasn't able to do it. And Trenton Hankerson is back for... Xavier Castaneda. Real strong night for Trendon Hankerson. He's got 14 tonight to pace the zips. He's done it on 4 and 9. 3 of 8 from 3. Going glass. Ray J. Dennis. I think I said he's got a lot in his uh, toolbox, Jeff, on the offensive end. It's not just a guy who stands back and snipes away from deep. He put it on the deck and go get his own, too. Michael, don't you like it when a guy 
puts it on the glass. Like that, Wesson, great dribble. Like where dribble is. It's there to help you out. A triple on that strong drive to the rim. Greg Tribble now. Off that Akron make. Zick's crowd trying to come alive. Dennis Floater didn't drop. That is off Toledo. Is off their big. A.J. Adu had last touch. Five-point basketball game. We're inside. And every one of them are doing. Couldn't get this done without our ESPN crew here in Rhodes Arena every time we're together with you. So now for the Akron Zips. Oh, Jeff, they've got to continue. So on the offensive end, execute and make shots. I mean, it's that simple. Down by five. Freeman going to go to the hole. That's number four. Offensive foul on Enrique Freeman. Todd Kowalczyk. I think Todd Kowalczyk and his coaching staff, this is the best job we've it's exactly the same spot. That's what referee Josh yep. White just told me. That's lovely. <laughs> Let's send that I one to that, the rules That's committee, had to change because when you, when you had, and it's always usually on the block charge. Yeah. When you have one official calling uh, in one way and another official the other, you know, usually something more definitive is made. Now reaching in, trying to come up with a rip away. Xavier Castaneda, shot clock at 10. As Raheem Moss runs Toledo offense. Shoemate almost lost it. This is Milner with a shot clock at 2. But Milner, that's an offensive foul. Well, how about the way that Xavier Castaneda positioned himself as Milner was on the charge toward the bucket. And that's after Xavier early on in that possession, Michael, dove to the floor trying to get a loose ball. You talked a few minutes ago about how this guy isn't just an offensive player. Well, watch, folks. This isn't just an offensive player right here. That's a guy who knows how to play good positional defense. So that is foul number one tonight on Cedric Milner, who's been terrific. Now you just oh, he's been, been he's playing been tremendous both ends of the floor. Hunter thought about it. Hunter's going to raise up. Didn't get the roll. Milner grabs off the Toledo board off the Hunter miss. Ray J. Dennis going to get to the free throw line. Trendon Hankerson who's going to be charged with the accurate foul. Now that's that we're about halfway through this second half. That's the seventh team foul now on the accurate zips. So uh, Toledo has five. So Jeff, as we know, it's seven in the college game. So every whistle from now on. Rockets are going to the free throw. Rockets will be at the free throw line. They've still got a foul to give, does Toledo. And Toledo, Jeff, I believe you gave the numbers earlier on. They are you know, we'll tell you what a proficient offensive team they are, and that includes their work at the free throw spot. Well, if you're looking for offense in the MAC, Michael, this is your team. And the number one in points, field goal percentage, three-point percentage, terrific at the free throw line. Dennis split the pair there. Now look at that double team heads. It forces a Acra turnover. Xavier Castaneda is trying to say on that Toledo double team that uh, Ray J. Dennis maybe had his hand on the basketball, but. Uh, and Tribble thought so too, Michael, yeah. because he didn't he didn't make a did play. Did it change on the ball. direction? Did the ball change direction? No, I don't think it did. Mm -mm. Well, the call is uh, the correct the timeline violation. Oh, Dennis, a tough jumper, gonna rattle around and not fall. And now battle on the glass, bodies flying, and it looks like Tim Stewart is going to get the foul. On Akron, Stripe, it's been a big, big night for senior Cedric Milner. He'll earn that bonus. Toledo's lead is five. The Rockets again coming in here. At eight and two in Mac Clay, a game behind the Akron Zips nine and one, which leads the Mac. AK Rowdies are counting and uh, you know saying that Milner takes too long to get the free throw attempt started, Jeff. 
Well, they hit 16, Mike. Well, I don't think they It'll happen when either. you're counting one, two, three, four. <laughs> and now Jack Gross is not happy. And that is going to be a Sammy Hunter. Accurate foul uh, for setting that illegal screen. John Gross very displeased with that particular whistle. Amani Lyles got a, a cameo appearance in the first half. Going to check back in. Watch Hunter here. Had to use the uh, the off arm that yeah. uh, that elbow to go into the chest of JT Shoemate. It's a lead by six and with the basketball. Shoemate. It's going to be a reach in foul. It's going to go out. Greg Tribble. You, if you're the Zips, Michael, you can't keep sending the Rockets to the free throw line here. Make, make them earn these baskets. They're too good of a free throw shooting team. That's team foul number 10. Things starting to get a little chippy, folks. A little bit chippy here. As you just saw uh, the leader, Toledo's leader, Ray J. Dennis, just sprinted from right in front of us here at the timeline down into that group of uh, where the Akron Zips were huddling up because Raheem Moss, Raheem Moss, Moss wanted to get into the Akron uh, conversation. Michael, all that was was Dennis paying Moss back for the hit pregame when he was sitting on the floor. Is that what it was? That's all that was. All right. <laughs> Shoemate misfires on the first. But there's 9.53 left, folks. So virtually still a, a half of this second half to play. And every Toledo free throw attempt is going to be two shots. Zips got lucky there. Shoemate 91% from the line, Michael. Split the pair. Amani Lyles on the floor. Tavari Johnson on the floor. Some of the bench bunch. Garvin Clark on the floor. So John Gross trying to get a respite for a couple of his starters. Clark got rejected, going to get to the free throw line. Now it's the Toledo Rockets' turn to uh, believe that uh, they had a clean shot rejection there. I would, I would say, Michael, it's been a while since either head coach was real happy with what's going on out on the floor from the officiating crew in this one. Freeman, Hankerson, each with four personal fouls, Michael. So they're sitting over there resting. Akron can't miss free throws. Well, uh, no, you can't. And then, Jeff, though, not, you know, eh, anything with regard to either side tonight. Sure. But just, I'm not saying right, wrong, or different. But as officials, when you start to call a game tight, with by that I mean not letting much body contact go, to me it's not. That's to me when officials open up problems and issues with head coaches. So be that as it may, yeah. the Toledo lead is six. Milner gave it up. Firing the deep three and sticking that deep three is Raheem Moss as this Toledo Rocket offensive uh, powerhouse of theirs in the Mid-American Conference are doing it on the road tonight. They're 8-16 to now from the three-point line after Moss connects from deep. Lead is up to nine again. On the back down, Amani Lyle, that didn't go. Greg Tribble's got an offensive board. Keep the possession alive. Clark got swatted away by the six foot ten big AJ Adu. Enrique Freeman. And uh, you, you know where uh, John Gross going here, Jeff. I mean, nine minutes left, a little bit under that, but down by uh, down by nine again which was a halftime advantage for Toledo. He knows he he got to get Freeman on the floor. Four and, fouls or not, got to get him on the and floor. And Hankerson with yeah. four fouls. That's Michael. right. Yep. You can't let the lead go out to 12, 13 points. No. Not against this team. And the Zips have thrown it away. Coming up with that steal is Ray J. Dennis. Toledo, with points here on this possession, could take their lead to double digits. Dennis to unload. Didn't go down for him. Akron tried to push. And that's going to be a Toledo foul that out on the floor is uh, going to be called. Did they get Milner on that? I think they did for the push. And now, with that being the seventh team foul, now the uh, the Akron Zips will be at the free throw line. 
So, Jeff, I mean, as tight as this game's being called, yeah. we are going to have processionals. I hope I'm wrong. But I got a feeling we're going to have processionals to the free throw line on both ends of the floor for the final eight minutes plus. That wouldn't surprise me in the least. Did you notice the last Toledo possession down at the other end? Again, Enrique Freeman ends up on Dennis. And if you're Toledo, Michael, great job of getting Freeman in that situation. You're trying to get him into foul trouble. You're trying to get him out of the game. It's been working. And if you're the Zips, you got to figure out how to keep Enrique off of Dennis, out of situations where he might have an easy fifth foul to pick up. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, there's a lot of game within the game yep. subplots going on here, huh? Yep. And all of this in the Eckridge Zips finding a way to hang around. John Gross to the squad, down by seven. That should be an over-the-back call right in front of us. It is an over-the-back violation. Ackward showing those hard hedges and trying to double-team the basketball with pressure, Jeff, and force the turnover. Watch the pressure there coming. The basketball was bounced on the timeline, and that's an over-and-back violation. And you just said something before that, Michael, and Akron hasn't gone away. If you're the Zips, you've got to be thrilled that it's a seven-point game right now. If we didn't know there was a scoreboard here, the folks in the arena would think, boy, what are the Zips down, 15 points? But they've been hanging despite everything that's been working against them. Castaneda to raise up the three. Look at Tribble Sky for another offensive board. Hankerson, oh, yeah. Look up that triple. Trendon Hankerson. Oh, that's a huge tray that Hankerson offered. Here come the Eckerd Zips, back down by just four. And the AK Rowdies uh, trying to lead this Eckerd crowd to get involved. Milner baseline. And it's slapped away from them defensively by the Zips, Nate Johnson. All right, hang on, everybody. Catch your breath. We're inside the eight-minute mark. That trend in Hank. The Toledo Rockets leads them with 18. And what well, trend in Hankerson has had a strong night shooting to Jeff. He's got 17 points for the Akron Zip. Xavier Castaneda tonight with 18 to pace Akron. Nice. Right, we're inside seven and a half left. Shoemate went glass. That's a tough, tough uh, jump hook runner he got over the top of Trendon Hankerson. Hankerson's best scoring Mac game as a member of the Zips. Michael's previous high was 14. Season high overall was 18 against Concord. Enrique Freeman high off the window and uh, had the sweet touch working there. As Freeman will ring the bell. Toledo about four and with the basketball. We're inside seven minutes left. Good to have you log tonight. Told you you've come to the right place when we started this evening. I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> Maddox gave it up. Shot clock at five. Maddox. Shot clock at one. That jumper over Freeman. Oh, how did Dante Maddox float that jumper over the top of Enrique Freeman? It was pure indeed. Freeman right back at it, but lost the basketball. Now the Zips went to the lob over the top of Shoemate there. Freeman couldn't control the basketball. Turnover Akron. It was a nice pass, though, Michael, and a great thought on that one. Uh, at the other end, Maddox, uh, just an example. There's so many players on this Rocket team that can hurt you offensively. So many options. He averages almost 11 points per game, one of the five and double digits. Akron breakdown there as JT Shoemate came angling baseline and uh, got the real nice look from... Ray J. Dennis lead back up to eight again. Castaneda to the cup. That shot was challenged, and Castaneda wasn't able to finish it. Akron needs to stop. Need to stop, or this lead is going to go back to double digits again. And again, Freeman guarding a smaller guy, Michael, out top. Maddox shook Freeman, drains the jumper. Toledo continues to shoot the basketball extremely well. Maddox, this is part of a 6-0 run. Toledo had the lead cut back to four. Now they've gone 6-0. It's going to be a full timeout. I believe the ball and moving bodies and Chris passing extremely well. They have all night, Jeff. And 
I mean, we're shooting what for the game? Uh, they're, they're shooting all of 57% from the floor are the Toledo Rockets. Zips the number one defense. Michael in the MAC coming in, allowing only 62.7 points per game. Rockets at 70, and we still have over five minutes to go. Enrique Freeman lost his balance trying to uh, make that move with the basketball. It's been a tough night for Enrique as this Toledo defense, changing up their looks, have really bothered him. He's got eight points and ten rebounds, but it just hasn't been the comfortability in the way that, uh, that Freeman usually approaches the offensive end. As we come inside, five minutes left. Moss will fire the three. Didn't go down. Big offensive board. And going to the free throw line will be Dante Maddox. Maddox and Moss, Jeff Phelps. Maddox, the sophomore guard. And, uh, and Moss have been big tonight in what they've been able to do for head coach Todd Kowalczyk. Sammy Hunter's going to check in. That'll be to replace uh, Nate Johnson for John Gross. This is uh, not a situation you see the the Akron Zips uh, in very often, Jeff, down late in a game. They've at won home. 14 in a row here at, uh, at Rhodes Arena, and many of them, you know, as we know, double-digit-plus wins. Played a tough one the other night, and where it was able to uh, outlast their Northeast Ohio rival Kent State for the big home win. But Toledo has come in here and shot it great. Castaneda the deep three. That's a strong offensive board and stick back from Semi Hunter. Back to a 10 point Akron deficit. Love to see Sammy being aggressive inside on the boards, Michael. He has the physique. He has the hops to pull that off. Milner didn't happen. Maybe a shot a little bit quick as they look over at Todd Kowalczyk than he wanted. Castaneda got shut off. Well, Hunter from deep. And line drive three. Freeman on the offensive glass. Got the stick back to go down. So back to back hoops. Gets the accurate zips back to within eight. Still plenty of time. We just came inside four minutes left. Zips have what? Two straight stops. Need a third. Ray J. Dennis. That's a tough step back jumper. That came up way short. Zips running. Triple. Gave it up. Hankerson from deep. Oh, yeah. He'll sweet stroke that triple. This is a 7 nothing. Akron run. To get back within five. Todd Kowalczyk. Uh, his basketball team to keep playing. Not going to call the timeout. Hankerson a new zip high. Michael, he has 20. Reaching foul. It's going to be called on Xavier Castaneda as you look at the, uh, the AK Rowdy. All right, let's everybody catch your breath now. They're on a 7 nothing run. They've got back to within five, but uh, you know, as we mentioned a few minutes ago, every whistle is going to put to Toledo at the free throw line. Maddox to shoot a couple. They got the first. Freeman and Hankerson, Michael, have been back in this game since just under nine minutes. So they've done a nice job playing with the four fouls while Akron's been coming back. So kind of in the perfect storm for John Gross here. Maddox hit them both. Uh, Toledo doing it from the free throw line tonight. They are 16-20 from the stripe. Akron, 7-9. of nine. Dante Maddox with the 14 points. The lead back up to seven. We hit three minutes left. Triple on the back down. Triple the left hand. Got the roll. Does that strong work in the paint. Does Greg triple. His third bucket, he's got six. Doesn't that guy always seem to make a play when you need one, Michael? Whether yes, it's he offense, does. defense, whatever it's whatever it happens to be. Yeah, whatever you're looking for. Yep. Ray J. Dennis on the crossover. That jumper didn't go. Shoemate tried to keep it alive. Triple will come away with it. Akron could get this down to three, maybe to two. Hankerson on the hard drive. 
And that's going to be a blocking foul that is going to be called on Ray J. Dennis, and that is going to send to the free throw line. The Zips will go to the line. They're eighth team foul, so it's the one in bonus until ten team fouls. Castaneda, if he could connect twice, it's back to a one possession game. One of the very best, not only in the Mid-American Conference, but in the country. From the free throw stripe is Xavier Castaneda. He's got 19 tonight, looking for 20. He'll do that. Brendan Hankerson with 20. Xavier Castaneda with 20. One possession game. Hang on, everybody. 2.15 left. Ray J. Dennis. He had checked by Hunter, turned the corner and gave it up. Deep three. Book it again for Dante Maddox. Great job by Toledo to run the offense. Now the Zips with trouble. They get the timeout in. Xavier was down on the ground. And it was contact. And Jeff, I mean, you know, Toledo, their three-point marksmanship before it's decided exactly what we have. What do you think Akron's going to go to here offensively, Jeff? I think he has the ball, Michael. Down by six. Well, he will in a minute. Now he does. Well, Xavier Castaneda with Trendon Hankerson on the floor. This is Sammy Hunter going to dial up that three. It didn't drop. So John Gross got a look for Sammy Hunter. Zips wanted to quick trigger the three. And that Zips foul underneath the rim is uh, going to, is that Greg Tribble? I think they got Tribble. Yeah, it was triple on the foul. So go on the free throw line to potentially one make here will push this up to a three possession to lead a lead. If you're John Gross, you're completely happy with Sammy Hunter taking that shot, Michael. During Mac games, he shot 44% from the three-point line. Sammy's, Sammy's been on target. He's been in the groove. That's a good shot. Well, Cedric Milner has had quite the night for the Toledo Rockets tonight. It was a good look at Milner. Came into tonight and averaged 50 points and six boards in 32 minutes a night. And uh, he certainly has done that and then some uh, here tonight for Todd Kowalczyk's squad. And again, they shoot the free throw so well, the lead up to eight again. So Akron quickly, the offensive end. I mean, Jeff, you're in a position, you don't want to rush it, but you can't be running out of shot clock either. No, sir. So you got to look for that first open opportunity, whether it's two or three, you got to take it. Castaneda will launch and lace that triple to keep Akron hanging in. Castaneda brings the zips back to within five. Now, how long do the zips go here? Before they um, they can't come up with a steal, they got a foul. Shot clock still at 15, which will take us into less than a minute to play. Shot clock at seven. Dennis wheeling and dealing, didn't get it to go, but an offensive board for J.T. Shoemate is going to get him to the free throw line. Toledo, Jeff, in addition, uh, you know, I know we, we've extolled their virtues offensively. They're a very good offensive rebounding team as well. Greg Tribble just got hit with that whistle, and uh, his work tonight will be done for the Zips. Greg Tribble with six points and five boards. 22 to 10 on foul calls. 22 to 10. You don't want to lose anybody if you're John Gross, but Tribble's impact on a game, Michael, is rarely seen in the box score. When you talked with Coach Kowalczyk before the game, he talked about Greg Tribble. Yeah. When we talked to Travis oh, yeah. Steele before the Miami game, he talked about Greg Tribble. Coaches love this guy. He well, makes he's win, a heart he and soul. winning basketball. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Heart and soul of what the Akron Zips do. Yeah, you know, Xavier Castaneda and Enrique Freeman are the, uh, the top point producers, but... There's so much more that goes into what John Gross has put together here to be a complete team, and Greg Tribble is uh, a large part of that. Akron continues to uh, 
Just have to deal with Toledo going the free throw line as one of the Rockets are up near 90% from the stripe, and that's going to be a, a second free throw JT Shoemate miss. So the lead's at six, 63 seconds to go. You don't necessarily need the three, but again... Would come in handy. It, it, sure, but, you know, you go get the quick two, get it, but you can't run a lot of shot clock here. Castaneda turned the corner. Castaneda to the cup, went reversing, didn't go down. Shoemate turned it into a real tough look. Now Akron's got a foul right away, and uh, there it is. It's going to send Ray J. Dennis to the free throw line as the Toledo Rockets are 47 seconds away from not only ending the Akron Zips eight-game win streak, but winning there, meaning Toledo's eighth in a row as well. Two hottest teams in the MAC coming into this one. Unless things change, the Zips' 14-game winning streak at right home. here at Rhodes Arena yeah. comes to an end. That's right. Haven't lost at home this season. So Ray J. Dennis hits a couple. He's got 18. Milner's got 20. Dennis has got 18. And uh, Maddox and Moss have 17 apiece. Hankerson gave it up. That deep three won't go down uh, for the Zips. And on the floor is Kobe Mitchell. And that foul is uh, going to go on uh, Toledo, which is certainly not something that Todd Kowalczyk was looking to do. Or they say the basketball just went out of bounds. Okay. I thought they got a foul called, but uh, Akron's on the inbound. Castaneda, that high rising three won't fall. And that should just about do it. I don't know, Akron going to foul again? Yeah, they are. Down by eight with only 23 seconds left. Jeff Phelps, so the, uh, it's looking uh, like the Toledo Rockets have come in here and ended the winning streaks, home floor, and overall of um, the Akron Zips. And remember, Toledo started the night at 8-2 and two in the MAC behind uh, Toledo's 9-1. and one. So both squads, Jeff, in 23 seconds, unless something monumental happens, are going to be both looking at 9 up and 2 down, leading the Mid-American Conference. Michael, Toledo's done its thing tonight. They have 84 points on the board, averaging 84.9 coming in. During their eight-game winning streak, the Zips allowed only 63.4 points per game. So defense was the key. They allowed more than 70 only twice during their eight-game winning streak. And tonight, Toledo played its game. And you can tell that by that big 84 sitting on the scoreboard right now. So that's going to do it. John Gross walking toward Todd Kowalczyk and uh, these two strong Mid-American Conference head coaches exchanged pleasantries. It's over in Rhodes Arena. The Toledo Rockets have come in here, ended the Akron Zips eight-game win streak, their 14-game home win streak with a rather convincing Jeff.